means now it's time for you to die. What a terrible mistake you have made. The mistake that you have made today is in fact a terrible one. Lower chainsaw. I'm ready to help you. So here's a heal. Healing! You're welcome. Oh yeah, that's right. This place is weird because these mechon are 2D for some reason. Actually, I know it's to save resources, but it's not all of these mechon that are 2D, I think. Uh, yeah, like these ones are 3D. These ones right here. Uh, yeah, but like those ones are 2D. Those ones are just flat textures. Yeah, this part's kind of weird because of the very large amount of just flat textured mech on that are just around. Well, there's even ones down there too. Ooh, that's bright. And these ones are 3D as well. Hello. You're in the way, so you must die. Leave this fight to me. Thou must perish. Those ones are 3D as well. It's difficult to tell. I think they are. Okay, well, the very bottom ones are textures, but those two ones aren't. Those ones are 3D. Need days protection, you know. Man, I sure do hope you don't drop a chest. That would make me sad. Mainly because if you do drop a chest, I don't think I can grab it. Nice if it was double wins. Oh, well, now you can drop a chest. She did. Yay. Chest. More jacked daggers. Defeat the crisis unit and the crisis response units. Time for a stabbing. I believe these uh, ones on the side are crisis uh, response units. Also, you might want to finish this fight quickly. Yes, there's the reason right over there because a whole bunch of other three other mechon will join the fray soon. Well, I don't think that's possible actually. I think these guys will get angry. Oh, well, as long as we don't use any aggro moves, should be fine. Somehow I didn't aggro them, but okay. They're coming back now. Well, let me just heal you then. Healing. Oh well, two of them are mad. Well, I mean, we get to hear more of mechanical rhythm, so I don't care. My chant is going out. Oh, here's the guitar solo. Ricky! Get 
Yeah, mechanical rhythm is really good. I'm glad we got to hear all of the song, because this is like the last part before it loops. It's sort of like synthesizer. Hey, we heard the full song. It makes me very happy that we got to hear the entire thing. Garbage pants, garbage weapons, and... Mm, I don't think these power boosters would be any great. Any good, rather? No. Not really. You know what? I think I'm gonna change my appearance. I will be back. There we go. I put on the Titan Legacy series, which is uh, new to the Definitive Edition. Well, I didn't do the same with uh, Fiora because there's no. Uh, there's no. Legacy series with her. Which always got like this big bulky gold armor. Because he's the main protagonist. Charlotte's got like this black armor. Ryan looks like a football player. Fiora's got like this light blue um, armor and also that special headpiece right there is actually something you can't get in the main game. That is in. Um, well, it's for after the, after we complete this part of the story. And then Dunman gets a sick cape. Also, Ricky is a spike ball. That's what his Titan armor looks like. Uh, there's also no such thing as Titan weaponry either. Central Tower Roof. Need a new skill. What is that skill? Ah, yes. Yoinkage for the giving of experience. Uh, we'll do this one. Next. Give me water. Water. Uh, I think it's this place that we want to be careful. Yeah, I think so. I think it's this section. It might be a different section than I am thinking of. Ah, yes, it's over there. Turn off the electrical barrier. Tower boarding gate. Our goal is right there. Oh, yeah, you can turn on the lift, but you can't actually get here, because you have to turn off this barrier as well, which is also operated by that button. Now, we could turn off the barrier, or we could just walk past it. Walk past the button and go to something that's far more interesting. Interesting and dangerous. I hope that wasn't too loud. Uh, mainly because of that big giant Lummox over there. We'll get to him in a second. Face Maintenance Bay. Hmm, that sounds interesting. If we head uh, left here, this place should look familiar. This was the, uh, the place where, uh, Fiora was constructed. Regeneration Control. This is also where uh, Egil did his whole weird magic with Ghetto. So, uh, yeah. We literally visited an area that was in a cutscene. I did tell you that 99% of the time, if you can see it, you could go to it. We went to a place where there was a cutscene. Not very many games do that, to my knowledge. That way leads down there. 
which leads to the button. We don't want to push the button, so we're going to go this way instead. We are going to go right this time and go beat up this enemy because he's in the way. It's apparently snowing. Again. Yeah, I actually just got um, a thin sheet of snow earlier today. Which means it's now officially winter. Even though I know people say winter starts in December, but I don't care. It starts early in Canada. Hmm. I wonder what's over there. Anyways, this big dude right here, what is he? He's a level 70 fortress unit unique monster. Yeah, I don't blame you if you don't want to kill him because he's very strong. He's obscenely strong for this point in the game, actually. He is generally an enemy I come back for in New Game Plus. Because, uh, well, yeah. He's very strong. That's really your only purpose for coming here is to beat this uh, big giant dude. So, I'm gonna go here. Big giant scary man, I don't want to fight him because he'll destroy me in half a second. Because it's a unique monster. That's also a fortress unit. Instead, we're gonna go this way and push the button. Let's kill this dude, he's in the way! Boink. Ricky wants to play with Monado. He's confused. Bust. Monado bust. I think taking this path allows us to get spotted by an enemy. Get spotted by an enemy that I really should have seen. Here is freezing. You're not invincible, Ricky! Don't die. Itchy. Well, that's probably the advanced frame, right? Right, right, right. Because that said he needed three advanced frames. Let's get them to him so he can make a new gun. Because that's new gun. New wave bossa nova. I think I can sneak past you. Yes. Nice. Push. Oh, man. Look at that. We can also take the uh, central lift down as well. You know, this lift. I'm surprised it didn't take fall damage. Yeah, this lift right here. It leads uh, down to where the vent is. That might be important for later. Step forward. Oh man. Enemies. Guess what? It's a mid-boss. Sort of. This is kind of just like a, hey, guess what? Fight these dudes now. Supposedly the, um... Get up. Thank you. The last line of defense before, uh... The city. Also known as Agnaritha. Go 
don't know if it's mentioned to us or not. Also, there's something over there. Berk, you found Ethan. Why'd you move? How dare you move? A vision? Gala Chainsaw? How close are you to die? I answered my question. Healing! I missed Fiora! Why is Shulk almost dead? He is Battle Soul is probably dead. Nope, no days. What is days? I don't know. What is days of my party members? I don't know. Here we go. Now that all of my enemies have been brutally slaughtered, let's go poke around. And push this button. A boop. First, we're gonna go this way. Because there is a little thing for us. Specifically, ether, but we have to fight for it. I missed. All right. I'm feeling it. Heal, heal, heal. Let's go beat up this dude instead. I don't like this guy. Now look at me, please. I wonder what I'll get a day off of that mag storm. Hope it's soon. Not just this dude left now. Boy, experience. Don't worry, I'll heal you. For you! Yeah, I expect that. Get up! Friends, be happy! This is town art. Yep. Pretty much gonna hit all of us, so. I don't know if I'll get this shield off. Vincers, no. Dang, also, I missed that. Heart spam. Another vision. Another talent art. Fiora dies this time. Which means it matters. Here. Rocky so excited to go blast. Put the best like hot dog in the microwave. I did it. Let's stay focused. Uh, well, I guess maybe that Gemini might be nice. Gemini. Boop, 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 boop. No, not really. What about the pants? If 
melee could equip it. Eh. Well, we'll get this earth now. Where have we gotten all the items in here? I have. Meaty potato. More like a meat than a potato. Feels like you're eating a meatball. Ew. Blue root, a gentle fragrance enveloped in a delicious sweetness. We get strength up four. Prism centipede, which is an animal, not a bug for some reason. Flex sparkling light. The effect is enhanced by its 100 legs. Again, it has 100 legs, so why is it not a bug? Cable mouse, choose through artillery cables, the bane of an engineer's life. Oil fox, a fox with damp fur. Its misty eyes make it look adorable. We get blaze defense four. Dew beetle, damp with morning dew. Drying leaves it wrinkly, much like a squid. Glider cockroach. A mystery bug that flies at great speed, even its life cycle is a mystery. Ether up four. Smoke cylinder, done by name this item dubiously. A pretty smoke emitting cylinder. Sacred Panther. Charlotte named this as she saw fit. Sharp and angular like a panther. Arts Noble. Fiora named this bashfully covered in beautiful white. We get Arts Heal 4. Completing the area, we get the Machina Driver 3. For our boy Ryan. Look at that. Isn't that nice? I don't know what it looks like. There you go. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Doesn't really match with the uh, outfit, though, because it's not red. Therefore, we shall head back to the Aegis Driver. Also, fun fact, uh, Aegis, or at least this, this is not really a fun fact, most are just an observation. I noticed that people don't seem to know how to pronounce Aegis. Which I guess is not surprising, because that's not really... A Western word, I suppose. And it's also kind of Agnutha transporter. It's also kind of not really a word that's very commonly used. Oh man! Now it is time to head into. Whoa! You turn into a Fanta, orange Fanta, or orange crush. Or some other orange drink. Heroes. Yeah, this is going on. I see you finally decided to show up. Let's see if we can bust these rust buckets like last time. Think we can do it? We'll get them. With this many troops on our side. We don't even need Shulk's help. You're telling me you're more worried about the kid's schedule? Kinda soft for you, Atharan. Shut up! Get moving! Division 4, defend the barrier. Division 6, assist any wounded harms. You may be a bunch of sissies, but they've got some pretty nifty gear! That idiot! He'll get his head knocked off at this rate! Ha! Keep it up! Ooh. Show everyone the power of the Jopon! Go, Jopon, go! Dang, they toppled a fortress unit by themselves. It appears we have gained the upper hand. Sire, if we hold our current position, a great victory is within our grasp. It is still too early to come to that conclusion. The enemy still has hidden forces. Your Highness, enemy reinforcements approaching from above. It's a face squadron. In 2D textured flying units. They're here. Oh, 
Divisions one to three, continue supporting the Homs and encircle the faces. Your Highness, think of yourself. Once the Vanguard has been eliminated, we must join the fight. Better that than die as cowards. Move! Of course, Dixon's just going wild. Ah. Stick this in your exhaust pipe and smoke it. Another taste yet. Eat this! Thunderbolt! Should have stayed at home, lousy junk bots. Hmm. They're doing rather well. Oh, hey, I do cool. so enjoy a good show. But they have yet to unleash their power and fulfill their true potential. Huh? Deadbeat drones! Come out and face us like real machines! I'll sort out the lot of you scum! Laura Thea is saying weird things again. Factory transporter. Residential District 1. Where's the top here? See something interesting. Welcome to Makana's capital, Agniritha. This is where the Mac and I used to live, uh, like 8,000 or so years ago. At least I think it was 8,000 years ago. It's probably wrong, actually, now that I think about it. We'll be here for a good bit. Because of one specific collection item. Those of you who play this game know exactly what I'm talking about. Flying to these fairy tale diode things, right? Will this really help Agnir to look beautiful again? It's not the item I'm looking for. Or that I'm referring to, rather. So this is the Makonis capital. Indeed. Yes, Agniritha. The heart of the Makina civilization. It looks so desolate. Like there are no signs of anyone living here. It truly is a soulless city. Here, bad place. Ricky want to go. So the Machina built this whole city. Not too shabby. It looks like the buildings have been here for a very long time. Oh, because they have. Look, Shulk. Dino Beast. Dino Beast eat city. Hmm. A Lethia. Dino Beast here. So Ryan's talking like a knob on now. But how? It is a Telethia. It looks like it's stone. Petrified. Why would there be a Telethia in a place like this? Maybe it cuts the in fossilized the Telethia are what remain of the beasts that attacked the capital in the ancient battle. Why did the Telethia attack your city? Wasn't the ancient battle only between the Bionis and the Mechonis themselves? The answer to your question can be found in that tower, the data center. It is better that you see with your own eyes. Only then will you truly understand what happened between the Bionis and the Mechonis. All right. So there's a big giant Telethia here. Wonderful. Mm. There's a smaller one over here. I don't think we've ever seen uh, these small ones before. Which is interesting. Yeah, I don't know if you saw that. Oh yes, yeah, so right up there there's a different kind of mech on. Central tower! Also, oh, we try to go this way. We have to go to the data center. Fool, you can't go that way. So in here is... A very large amount of things. 
these shop terminals, which apparently are still active somehow. These have uh, Magna 2 items, as well as Karma Blades. There's a Magna Cannon, Magna Sword, Magna Garter, as well as Speed, or Myconis 2. Hmm. I'll do power. I think this Taurus Helm L is not part of... I think this is new to Definitive Edition. So speed, frame, ether, power 2. Right top, Taurus Plate L. Power two. Power two. Let's get with these Ryans. All that other stuff I don't really care about. More power. These pants are really all that great. All right, there's the shoes. Mm. Taurus. And we'll take a look see at these drones. Sword drone sword drones one again. Shield drones one. Cannon drones two. Uh, we'll get this one. Terminal always open for business. Even thousands of years later, apparently. This, and this, and this, and this, and this. Now, what does this look like? I can't remember. Well, it's power two, so it probably looks like this. I guess a bronze version of what I was already wearing. Another new skill? Huh. Is that? That's actually kind of good for. That'll be good for Melia as well. So anyways, city planning terminal. Agnirathem is restored to a state of perfection. Collect repair materials for damage structures. Ooh, look at that. I mean, it's pretty much. I'll just have a generic quest to be like, hey, go do this thing, please. Grape Springs! We'll get to those later. This one wants us to beat up Mechon. These are uh, challenge quests, actually, is what these are. Uh, and all these quests are required if you want to complete the map. This one is... Oh yeah, this one is just beat up enemies. Generic monster quest. Yeah, that's great. Uh, this is just more generic monster bashing. One more. This one is challenge. one is... Oh, this one... I know what this one is. This one is Look at Telethia. So we've got a whole big fat load of side quests to do. Which means there's probably not going to be any story progress. So Capital Control Terminal. Resolved issues requiring immediate attention are present. Resolve all issues to receive a key to the top view for a special view. Okay. Well, I hope I can squeeze this cutscene in. I know it's kind of a long one, but if I can squeeze it in, that would be nice. Should be able to. Hopefully. If I can ever get to the top, that is. 
Immediately, these doors, they are locked. Sad face, we can't go to the observation area. Can't go to the data center, though. Uh, it looks like the power's up and running. Somehow. <sighs> Fiora, what's the matter? Everyone, follow me. What is there, that? Though. It's basically a hologram. It looks like it's here. But it's just an image. No way. Whoa! You're right! These are memories of a time long forgotten. Fiora! Hey! They were left behind by the Machina. Before they abandoned this place, so that others may know their story. Her voice sounds like... In ancient times, when the Bionis and the Mekonis came into existence, I was born as well. Just as the Bionis had a soul, I came to exist in this world. As the soul of the Mekonis. I created my children on Mekonis, and acquired this body. They called themselves Machina. And Mekonis was transformed into a world brimming with life. The Machina gave rise to an advanced civilization, and built this great city. This city? I can't believe it used to be so lively. They lived their lives in peace and harmony. The gentle Machina worshipped me. It's Egil. Life also flourished on Bionis. The Machina generously shared the fruits of their civilization with the peoples of the Bionis. They believed their two worlds would grow hand in hand. Then, a terrible fate descended on them from above. Wielding the Sword of Light, the Bionis attempted to destroy the Machina. Are those Telethia? I tried to save the Machina, and confronted the Bionis. And so, I confronted Zanza. Z zanza The battle waged on and on. Even as our life forces depleted, Zanz and I continued to fight. However, it did at last come to an end.
the giant. That's when this he was is when prison. Sansa was imprisoned. Taking advantage of my final blow to the Bionis, its beings took Zanza and sealed him firmly away. However, the battle with Zanza had greatly consumed my life force. I warned the surviving Machina that the Bionis had not yet been destroyed, and that one day he would be released. Oops. I'm the one who released him. I then entered a long and deep slumber. It's Hegel again. In preparation for Zanza's inevitable reawakening. It's all clear to me what you wanted to do. Stop the battle between the Bionis and the Maconis. Fiora, I see now. It was her inside you. Yes. Lady Maynus desired a body in which she could be free. And after you were captured by Egil's Mekon, it was I who transferred her soul into your body. But why did it have to be my body? Because you are close to Shulk. The heir to the Monado. <sighs> mm. So interesting. It was all because of our world. Because of Bionis. That this city was devastated. Now I understand why Egil would want to stop the Bionis from reawakening. I get it too. But how's killing any of us gonna solve his problem? Precisely. What happened to the Machina was a tragedy. But we cannot forgive the Mechon attack on Bionis. What worries me is the Monado that the Bionis used. It's no different from how the legends describe, but still. It must hold a deadly power. But you have used it wisely, Shulk. It has not overwhelmed you, as it did me. He's right. If you hadn't been using the Monado, we wouldn't have lasted five minutes. But it was Zanza who bestowed this sword upon me. However, it is not Zanza who now wields the Monado. It is you, Shulk. <sighs> that is also the reason why Maynath chose Fiora as a vessel. So that the tragedy of he who wields the Monado would not be repeated. The tragedy of he who wields the Monado? Shulk, believe. Believe in the path you have chosen, and those who walk it with you. Maynath once said this of the Monado. The Monado is not simply a unique weapon. It is the light within each and every person in this world. Light? What do you mean? It is the light of life. The will to survive, no matter what. Perhaps Lady Maynath was drawn to your light. Beyond there lies the Maynath Shrine. Egil will be there. Is it still your intention to defeat Egil? That has not changed. We understand the history of Mekonis now. If he is willing to listen, we will try to reason with him. But if not... I understand. Then, if that is your decision... So be it. I will try to persuade Egil one last time. But I am prepared for his refusal. The no name. Away. Mm -hmm. Doesn't sure this last a while. I know Venea said she'll try to persuade him, but she didn't sound confident. We have to go after her. But how do we get to the shrine from here? Up ahead is a transporter leading to the shrine. 
but it's inactive. We need to trigger the verification devices to activate it. We'll find one at the top of each of the four pillars. If we trigger them all, we can use the transporter. Uh, how Fiora know that? Mayneth's memories. She tells me these things. Do you know how to trigger them? Maybe my body itself is the key. Okay. Then let's get searching. Oh boy, I can't wait. This is what I would say if I had time, but I don't. I'm gonna go touch this button in places. Next time on Xenoblade Chronicles the First, we're gonna go do basically everything we can in Agnirtha. We're probably gonna be here for a good bit. Because there's a lot of stuff that they throw at you. Like, a lot, a lot of stuff. <laughs>